Hey, you guys. So I'm back at it again. What with the collective message? This is part three. So yeah, basically what I was just saying is just like harnessing your power. And it's about being truthful because in my mind, it's this it's this time that I keep going back to that I felt so weak within myself, not understanding that the strength it actually took for one for me to leave, and then not also understanding the strength that it took for me to own up to the fact that a lot of the stuff that was happening in my life was because I chose to run away from myself and I chose to not see the bigger picture. Yes, I understand that I had mama issues. Yes, I understand I had daddy issues. Yes, I understand that your mama and your daddy is supposed to set you up in the way that, okay, I'm getting so paranoid and I should stop getting paranoid because I'm outside in the parking lot at three o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I've been watching a lot of killer shows. <laughs> and I feel like I keep seeing something in the corner of my eye and I just really need to chill out. <laughs> chill out. Because, y'all, when I tell y'all every time I close my eyes and I'm in the bathtub, like, taking a bath, TMI. But I be, like, thinking of the scream, y'all know? the scream he coming in my bathroom and like drowning me in my tub but the crazy part is i'm just thinking about who's underneath this mask like sometimes when i close my eyes i think somebody slid in my throat but it's just it's just these violent violent thoughts against myself and i'm just like is this a message in saying the death of myself or is this a message that i need to stop watching so many uh movies that's talking about killing but anyway back to the topic and um i understand that you know your parents are supposed to set you up but not always that's not always how it works and when you turn into an adult you have to figure out who you are what you want and how you would like to live and not how you would like to live by other people's standards of you but your standard of you and i've been thinking about like this grateful factor everybody says you have to be grateful who said i have to be grateful who made this rule of having to be grateful who made this rule of having to be happy and who made this rule of having to be joyful who made these rules that you have to be like this in order to get what you want who made this it's like god is teaching you know god because I, I told y'all i'm having conflicted thoughts but that's the only thing i can call him at this time i say spirit spirit at this time is like getting me and I, you know what? I always give it to spirit. Why don't I just give it to myself? And that's another thing that I'm having to deal with. I have to deal with actually telling myself, this is not spirit, nor this is God. This is Pinky saying, this is what I feel, and this is how I feel. Own up to that. I don't feel a spirit within me at this time. I don't feel God without around me at this time. I know something's protecting me because listen i know something's protecting me but it's like i don't know who that is so at this time pinky is thinking about who is writing all of these rules and why can't i write my own to get what i want to benefit me that's what pinky is thinking at this time okay i just want to know what's going on